Sentimental value equals priceless. One thing that short hedge funds that went on attack against AMC did not factor in is the sentimental value of the theatrical experience. I love going to the movies, and I cannot be the only one. I've been to every type of theater. From the $200 per person dining fancy steak movie theater to the $1 show sticky floor can't, can't walk without shoe getting stuck, and I love them all. It's about family, fun, and the thrill and wonder and excitement of all. The popcorn smell, the two, three hours lost in a new world on the screen with the best surround sound. AMC to the moon, they will never get me to sell for less. Now, during the lockdowns over the past few years, I think maybe the short sellers might have got it confused. They figured that the movie theater business was going to be something of the past, something of the history books. But it's not the case. Once things reopened, the movie theaters were more and more popular than we've ever seen. And we have data to prove that. AMC is crushing records, breaking new records, and setting new all-time highs across the board for their movie theater business, which just goes to prove that something like this, a post like this, is something that a lot of others agree with. Remember, they could have covered at $5. Remember, they could have not tried to bankrupt an American company. Remember, they could have not tried to eliminate over 35,000 hardworking people's jobs. Remember, they think retail investors are the dumb money. Remember, they think retail will fold and sell. Remember we own the float though? Remember the shorts are in deep, deep trouble. It's funny because they still think we're going to sell off at this point. It's honestly hilarious. AMC, take no tapes. Apparently retail are not allowed to own the float of any company. The DTCC will withhold margin calls until they get complete capitulation from us. Bullish. Reminder on quick math proving we got this. There's around 4 million retail apes. Average of 100 shares each is 400 million shares. 4 million times 1,000 shares is 4 billion. 4 million times 10,000 shares, 40 billion. It is clear retail has been doubling down on their positions over the past year. So, 4 billion shares in circulation is prob about right. Now, that's a good question. I want you guys to comment down below if, of course, you feel comfortable. Have you been buying more shares of AMC in 2022? Or have you just been holding on to your shares in 2021? We have data to prove that the majority of the retail investors have, of course, been buying and or just holding on to the shares that they have. So we already know that. But let me know what you guys have been doing as of recently. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, guys, there's a lot more to go through. Make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on an up and coming video. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to please drop a like in the video. It really helps the channel grow. And lastly, make sure to go down below to my description to see all the links down there. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.